Hello everyone, I'm Gagzi from Syria, as you may know me already. I am one of my peers who witnessed the war. I recall the times where my biggest achievement in life was getting back home from school alive. I recall witnessing close friends getting injured and losing parts of their bodies due to random bombs. And today we are surviving through tough times due to sanctions imposed on Syria and its citizens in many aspects of life. Nevertheless, we are living in much calmer, safer and peaceful atmosphere. May 6 is National Martyrs Day in Syria. And I wanted on this day to pay my tribute to all Syrians who sacrificed their lives for the sake of free, safe, peaceful home for me and for generations to come. I would like to salute all mothers who lost their children. My condolences to wives who lost their spouses and my respect to every child who is growing up missing a parent. Today I am at the Unknown Soldiers' Tomb in Damascus, which is a war memorial dedicated to the Syrian soldiers who were killed in battles. In addition to its honorable importance, this monument is a piece of architectural art designed and accomplished in a collaborative work of a group of expertise, among whom were Hafif al-Bahnasi and Mahmoud Hamad. constructed in 1994 and it consists of three sections. The upper section features an arc and a dome. The arc is 37.2 meters high and it symbolizes victory. The dome is 20 meters high. It looks as if it's hanging in the air. Some people see it as a soldier's helmet and it symbolizes the universe. Surrounding the dome there are verses from the Holy Quran engraved in mosaic. The second section of this monument is two presidential reception halls designed and furnished in a Damascene style. As we go down the stairs, we will find an art piece of the famous Syrian sculptor Mustafa Ali greeting us. This art piece is dedicated to the martyrs of the recent war in Syria, whose corpses were never found and their families didn't have the chance to hold a proper farewell funeral and don't have a grave to visit. In the same hall, you can also see elegantly exhibited examples of the Damascene sword, archery equipment, military medals, and medals of merit.
The wow effect continues in this amazing hall featuring diorama of five large paintings depicting battles from Arab and Syrian history. This is the Battle of Yarmouk that took place in 636 AC in Yarmouk. Back then, the Arab army was under the leadership of Khaled ibn al-Walid and Abu Ubaidah ibn al-Jarrah. And the battle was between the Arabs and the Romans. The Battle of Hattin, a battle that was under the leadership of Salah al-Din, who unified the Arab forces on one front which combined Al-Sham, Iraq, Egypt and Palestine in 1187 AC. Both paintings are painted by Ahmed Ibrahim. This battle is painted by Mumtaz al-Bahra, showcasing the battle of Maysalun that was under the leadership of Yusuf al-Azmi, who confronted the French army before entering Damascus in 1920. This painting shows Al-Sheikh Mountain Observatory battle in which the observatory was liberated and the Syrian flag was raised on the top of the mountain to declare the start of the October War of Liberation under the leadership of the President Hafez al-Assad in 1973 and this painting is painted by Haydar Yazaji. Battle of Sultan Yaqub, which happened in Lebanon in 1983. This battle showed the Syrian fighter as a gigantic man who was ready to win the war no matter what, martyrdom or victory. And it was also painted by Ahmad Ibrahim. Rest in peace, all those who died for the sake of humanity. Salam.